Hey guys, Craft Manager, and today we've got episode 5 of Minecraft Multiplayer Journey. So this is going to be the last sort of video of um, of me videoing stuff that I'm doing. I'm going to... I'm going to change up how I do these videos so it's more sort of like a weekly video, because um, sometimes I want to build stuff like... Um, uh, like this thing here, which I'll show you in a second, which I built off camera because I... I was really tired and I wasn't really in the mood for filming. Well, if I had filmed, I'd be like, no, I'm just sort of moving dirt here, guys, and then putting some water down, and that doesn't make for a good video. So I thought, oh, I'll just do it and then I'll show you guys in the next video. And I've done a few other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a weekly video from now on showing you around what I've done. So that way I'll get loads done during the week and you'll be able to see loads of stuff. I might do it twice a week depending on how much I plan the server and how much I actually get done. So I put some sort of paintings in here just to make it a bit more roomy. Made this tree come out a bit more. Uh, it doesn't look like a tree from the outside anymore so I might have to change that a bit. Um, still, I think I'm still getting a spider problem. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, no. You're probably thinking, whoa, what's that? What's that? That is a monorail, which goes all the way around the town as far as. Did you see a creeper there? Just before. It goes around the whole town, which um, there's a creeper. Just put come up here. It goes around the whole town, which we'll we'll ride on that later. Um, it's a bit ugly. I'm not gonna, especially. It's sort of just ruins my view but um they could it could look it could look worse so it's actually kinda nice. And there's a guy building down there. We'll go see what he's building in a second. This guy oh what's his name? Um uh, there we are Anioki I don't know how to pronounce his name but he made that look nice so that definitely does look Nice that it did just instead of a square box. So a few things we're gonna to do today is I'm just gonna show you around what I've done and we're gonna make a underground some underground farms. So let's go down and see what this guy's making. Oh that's my good friend Jamie from college. Let's ask him what he's doing. <laughs> He's probably going to come out with something to try and embarrass me. Caving him, keeping himself locked in it. You tell me. <laughs> I thought. Whoops, didn't spell that right. We'll leave him. He's probably going to put a door or something there, so I'll just leave that. Oh, darn it. Okay, let's go and build stuff. So, you guessed right, but I'm going to have. We'll come back later to see how he's uh, getting on. So, yeah, so these <laughs> pillars just sort of come down, block your view, but uh, I'm nicknaming this area Craft Bench Cove. Um, I'm not sure if the guys who live there and there. Are going to be too pleased about me deeming this um, my cove, but I was here first, so it's, it's my area. <laughs> so here we've got we've got uh, Brenny's on a Tommy Gun Tommy, Tommy Guns Love Shack, and he's got a nice sort of. Um, I really like how he's 
getting his floor. He's been I see you see him walking around the server with his shears just shearing cheap because he's trying to make an amazing floor. And he's got a nice house here, it's really tasteful. He's gonna split this up into rooms apparently, so we'll probably see that done in the next video. Um got some seats out here which is very nice, very nice. And I can't remember exactly whose house that is, but We'll uh, project that in the next video because we need to get on with our farm and what this is. Which I'm going to test something on the side. I'm thinking if we have it like this, it will pull spiders in more efficiently and everything else in. I know it's going to look a bit ugly, but mm, I don't know. If you've got any ideas for the trap, uh, please do like come on. A server, a server IP will be on the screen now. Come on, the uh, <laughs> come on, the um, oh, I love the track for Come on, the server, and you know, point it out to me. I always love your guys' suggestions. So, what we've got here is let's just take this out. So, what we've got here is the water comes down, and these signs stop it. And then we've got a source block here and a source block here, and then it pushes everything to this one here, and then they fall down. So that means if there's a load of them coming in, which there never really is, perhaps three at maximum on a good night of being in my garden, they'll all fall into each other. So that means they all stay there and they'll all die. The only problem I have is sometimes with spiders, um, they just get stuck there. I have to wait until they despawn. So. Um, that can be a bit of a problem, and stuff like pigs and things just come straight through. Um, but hopefully, I'll adapt that. We've got our secret little passageway we're getting out in here, which is pretty cool. So, let's go down here because I've got some more things to show you. Doobie, 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 doobie. It's a nice day outside. Just want to get a video out, I'm going to go outside. So, I've got a small sort of like wood farm here at the moment. Um, which is good because that way I can just get all the wood I need. Um, I'm gonna change this up so that I have a wheat. We're gonna build a wheat farm off in that direction in a second, and I'll probably have a. I'll probably change it all around, and make it look nicer. And while I was mining this area, I found this. Someone had already made a spider spawner, but if we got this way, and this is the way you got to it, it just stops. So someone must have had a house where I was before, or I don't know. It was just. It's weird because there's no way from the surface you could get to it. And when I went up there, it was all just blocked off. So it was like someone had made a dungeon spot a trap. They just left it. It was weird. So it's mine now. Uh, it's under my base. So it's mine. Eh? Which uh, it gives me a lot of bone. I put it um, because of the size they've dug out. It's the maximum area around the spawner things can spawn in. So you get a good amount of uh, arrows and such and stuff. So yeah, um, okay, let's get on to the farm. Bum, 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 bum. I hope that, I picked that up. Okay, so let's, I'm going to make up a room off in this direction that we'll put our farm in. So I'll just do that and then we'll get uh, making the farm. Okay guys, so I've just, I'm just uh, edged out. A small sort of little farm, uh, two fields, sort of, I'd say. Um, water stream comes down to hydrate both of them. Uh, roof lighting. I can't remember. Oh, plane in the background. <laughs> I always have that. I listen to my videos. I'm talking. I'm like, why didn't I stop talking? There was a plane going straight past overhead. So, I think I might need to get the roof up one. I'm going to check on uh, the wiki even though it's probably not very reliable. I've realised that some of the stuff in the wiki is correct but the majority of it isn't so it's actually better just to test it out yourself. Um, so yeah and then I'll have my main... what I'm going to have is I'm going to have one water, I'm going to have a water filter up here which will um, when the piston is one way it will hydrate it but then when I flick a button for the switch, it will put a piston out which will divert the water flow 
and flood these and bring the water, bring them to me, which will be in a small collection of stream here. Um, I'll only move this tree farm as a. I just put this to begin with here, so it's actually in the way. But um, yeah, it should be should be good. So I'll come back to you once I've figured out if they grow here or not, and show you me building the water switcher. But for now, I'm just gonna do this so that I can test to see if they grow properly. They grow in one high. So we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So I've just tried growing that, and it's not working. Uh, it needs must be need too high to fully grow. Um, I think I actually have. I have already. Um, I remember testing that in my big farm, my single player world, but I can't actually. I can actually remember. But now I think about it. I think I did. So we should bring this down into the floor. I think. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, guys. So I've just realised uh, while doing this that um, this is going to happen. So we're not actually going to have it as long as we want. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to make a really sort of complex farm. I kind of just want something which will yield me a good amount of wheat, not like a huge farm that I did in my single player because I'm not trying to make something huge, I'm just trying to make something practical which uh, I can use because I'm I haven't even uh, gathered enough seeds to use my big one in my single player world and I probably never will <laughs> um, I think if I have it like this, this clears the whole thing yeah so perhaps I put it in there or even it out Hmm, that's interesting how that works. Um, yeah, okay, well, I'll just do the system now, and we'll come back once I've completely finished the farm, and we'll use it for the first time. Uh, what's CB? Okay, guys, so I'm back, and we're just doing the farm here. I've actually got uh, some guys off, off of uh, some of you guys come onto the server, which is uh, really cool. Here we've got Can Gun Fidza. And we've got Sniper somewhere, we're going to have a look at him later. But this far the farm works now, so I haven't got it set up to a piston. I want to have it so that there's a piston here. Um, so there's like a lever, so it just activates the water using a piston, but I'll, uh, I'll do that later. So if we do that, it'll come down and harvest these things, and I just come back here and pick them up. Unfortunately, um, it can... Why is it? It's not working for that. Oh, because someone's destroyed it. Oh well. Um, and then it all comes here, so uh, it's not the biggest farm you're ever going to see, but it does what I need it to do. And yeah, so and I can just replant it, you can't have the water going when it's too long otherwise it will uh, stop it but uh, it gives me a good amount of wheat each time uh, and then just put some here, so it gives me, it'll give me, once I've got enough seeds to do all of it um, it'll give me a good amount of wheat because I find there's, I can never find pigs on the server, and um, I keep saying um, um, really annoys me. I keep finding I can't, I can never find pigs on the server. But so I thought by having a farm it'd be better. It's quite hard not saying um. So one thing I'm gonna show you before we end this video is um is Craft Bench Cove. That may sound a bit sort of full of myself sort of area, but it's uh, an idea because quite a lot of you guys have been coming on and you've all been, a couple of some people have asked if they can build an enemy, so I thought, well, I might as well have it, so I've got to do this so that they can, people who are, uh, when you first come on the server, you're a guest, um, I think, and that means you can't pick up stuff, destroy blocks, or walk through doors, so until an admin comes on, you've got to. Um, I've got to do that to let people in. But uh, the admins are normally on sometimes. 
So here we've got the entrance to. So. Oh. Oh. Let's help. I just came here. Come here. There we go. Okay, so. This is sort of like the entrance to Carafe Bench Cove. I'm probably going to brighten this bit up a bit and make a path down to down to a path somewhere but <laughs> we've got a craft bench cove so this area over here is just going to be deemed craft bench cove um, down here we've got a few things which just um, I'm using to help make myself make it but path here we've got a friend one of my uh, real life friends making a an interesting house let's put it there and then down here we've got the uh, beach which will have fishing huts and sort of a Dock and a viewing balcony. Here we've got um, 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 um. we've got what's his name, Ash Ashton's house, which looks pretty nice, even considering it's a square. But he's got a nice uh, wood scheme going on there. And oh my god, I've got so many things going on. Okay, so let's just continue. So, oh my word, come on then, go oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, a zombie. So here, we come along here, this is the main path to the main part of Craft Bench Cove, which will be another fountain here, and then there might be a fountain, oh my god, don't, 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 don't want to buy me, oh my goodness. perhaps I can get him to kill the other one, gone, yes, that's skill there my friends, that's skill, okay, so then another path's going to come down here, and then it'll probably go down there, and perhaps go around there, Ash, Ashton, Ashton's house, and then it's going to go off in that direction, there'll be like a road here, and a road here, and then there'll be like plots of land or something, and you guys will be able to build here and stuff, um, so we'll have like a small little community, which would be uh, be pretty cool, because I'd love to be able to, um, love to be able to like, have you guys build your houses and stuff, and I want to make some uh, sort of activity buildings, so a nice curling rink and stuff, so that we can all, you know, have a good time. Sounds a bit cheesy, but oh well. So thanks for watching, guys, and um, I probably won't do another video for a couple of days. Well, at least not on multiplayer one because I'm gonna like do sort of more like, update videos. So I'll do a bunch of stuff and sort of just show you around what's happening in multiplayer. Uh, if you do want to see what's happening quicker so you don't have to wait for a video just hop on the server uh, IP is in the description and uh, you have to wait until you're made like a member or something because when you first come on you're just like a guest and you can't do anything until you get building positions and then you can come and build a house and we can uh, we can all have a good time so thanks for watching guys please like the video if you enjoyed and comment on any ideas you have for craft bench cove or anything I'll probably put more trees around I think I like trees but uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. I'm Graf Bench. Bye.